Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to talk more about nested data within JSON objects. This video is brought to you by EpiPies Academy. So in the last lesson, we saw that we can use the for each to loop through the content. There are a few other alternatives as well that we're going to be looking at in this lesson. So let's create another function and we're going to pass the data into another function called output one. And it's going to retrieve the data the same way that we did the last one. And as with programming, there's always a number of different ways to extract the data. And sometimes it's up to a personal preference of the web developer, which way they prefer to use. So we're going to pass in that same JavaScript object that's coming from the JSON. And it's the same thing. It's within that friends array. So let's uh, loop through the contents of the friends array. So you can use what's known as a for in loop. So pulling out the value information that's contained within the object as a val once again. And then within the array, we're going to be getting the data from the data friends array. So you always have to specify either way that you're extracting the data. Make sure that you're navigating through the object properly and returning back the array in order to iterate through all the items that are contained within the array. So if we do a console log of val and save that and refresh it, you can see what it's returned back here are the index values of the items contained within the array. So if you wanted to output the contents of the array, let's uh, output them using the text content and uh, adding to the current text content backticks again. So those are backticks. And if I want to extract that value, I need to specify the full path. So I do data friends and then I specify, I use val as the index value and then name. And actually this should be first. So we specify the name of the, the property value. So that outputs all of them out into the web page. And then last name can be done the same way. So in my opinion, this one is a little bit longer. Uh, the easiest way usually is to do the for each. Uh, there's also one other way if you want to do a simple, uh, just a regular for loop or a while loop. You can do those as well to extract the data. So it's, it's very similar to what we just did with the for in loop where we're getting the data and I'll output it to number two. And then here we've got the console log and data. And if we want to output the contents, we can do a four and then setting a starting value. Let's use val again. So starting val at zero because arrays are zero based and then looping through while val is less than data friends length. And remember again, we're specifying that array and then we need to increment val by one in order to access the value and the same idea that we just did over here. I'm going to just do a quick copy and paste and I'll make this longer. So we're looping through the friends array and val once again is going to be the index value. So if I want to retrieve back the corresponding value that's contained within the data friends array, I need to do the full path. So let's uh, refresh and as we can see, now we're getting that full path there. I'll just do another dash there to separate them and we're outputting the index values and we're uh, then we're accessing the content contained within the JSON data using the path to get to it. So there's also JSON files that might be a little bit more complex where they might house additional content in here. So if I was to update this and have another value for skills, and let's say this one was an array. So we'd have a number of different skills that each person would have. And remember, in order to do this, uh, you got to match it up with the other objects. And these ones can be different because these are just skills within the array. So this might be JSON. This might be Ajax. Uh, maybe this is uh, JavaScript. And this person's got a lot of skills. So then just add it to the end there. So now when I refresh the friends array, it's got the friends, but it's also got the skills listed out. So if we want to output the skills that are associated, and I'm going to bring it right back to 
the for each loop and actually let's do another one so just do output three and create one more function in order to output the contents retrieving it again as a value of data within the function and console logging data just to make sure that we do have it available and next we can loop through each one of these and extract the skills out so there is a challenge for you here and that's to take what you've learned update this function in order to count the number of skills that are present within the json data and i'll walk you through the solution coming up in the next lesson as we continue to build upon what we've learned so again the challenge is to use the json file with a number of items within the main array and then nested within the main array we've got another array and this is just listing out a list of skills and you need to extract those skills and then output them within the message area and i'll walk you through the solution coming up so count the number of each one of those skills that are present within the friends so this is just a quick sneak peek at what we want to accomplish with this project so listing out, we've using the JSON file. Each one of our friends has a certain set of skills. So we want to count between all of the friends using JavaScript, count out how many of our friends have certain skills. So we know that within JavaScript, there's two. HTML, there's two. CSS, there's three occurrences of it. JSON, two. And we can do all of this because of the structure of our JSON data is the same and it matches that each one of our friends has the skills listed out in an array and then we're going to extract that information from the array and use it in the application.